Niño se habla y se olvida. Before pa ako magland sa Bali, I already have this manifestation that I wanted to win the crown. I have this, siguro mga 90% na feeling. Pero nung nakita ko na yung stage that night, I would be very honest with you, that nakita ko yung stage that night before the coronation, I already saw myself as the last two women standing doon sa gitna. So sabi ko, para mangyayari ata siya bukas. But I know that those manis manifestations will not happen. It will not do good. It will not perform. Pero I think, sabi ko nga, it's like good omen lang lahat talaga nangyayari. You need to envision that. And it's just a law of attraction. But you have to really believe that you can make it happen. So talaga yung manifestation po, the night before, I saw myself standing there with someone. Doon sa stage na yung salit na. I was like holding with someone. I can see a candidate, pero ayoko sabihin ko sino yun. But I think, malalak, nalaman nyo naman na kung sino kaming dalawang natira doon. And I saw her with me that time. Wow. Yes, Miss Malaysia. I saw myself in Malaysia standing doon sa gitna. The invasion ko. So, I was really having a goosebumps nung, na, nung nag-a-announce sa sila kung sino yung mananado. Hi, Shane. Hi, Sir Jay! Uh, Jay Patao, Malaya Business Insight. Um, you have won the first Miss Global crown for the Philippines. And then something more grand. You, you have fulfilled your vow for your mom, for your late mom. And something more, graduate ka na. You just gave your valedictory speech kanina. So my question is, what's next after this? Oh, yan po yung interesting kasi I think I'm not yet allowed to share any of the plans for Miss Global but one thing is for sure, I'm still gonna be active in the pageant world. Not in the limelight but behind the man, behind the scene. Kasi before, I've been dreaming of having a pageant school, ganyan. Pero ayaw ko kalapanin yung mga mentors ko. So since gusto ko magkaroon ng pageant school, siguro magiging one na lang, one of them na lang po ako. I'm gonna be supporting the team, still gonna train girls if given that more learning pa and experience gusto ko tumulong pa sa mga girls para mas maging confident sila mas i-embrace nila yung story nila kasi ako po I have a feeling that I think Miss Global have taught me the right ingredients in winning a crown and I, th I think one of those are not just manifestation but focusing on the now being grateful and enjoying the show Embracing the story, their story. Because I always believe that all of the girls who's joining the pageants are already physically beautiful, maganda ng katawan, they're already good enough when they come to communication skills. But one thing is missing. The girls sometimes forget who they are as a person and embrace their story that makes them unique and special among the rest of the candidates. Yun kasi yung nagpapastand out sa mga babae. Yung kwento ng buhay nila at kung sino sila, ano ba yung makikater nila, mabibigay nila sa organization, and ano ba yung mabibigay nila sa community. So, with that, doon sa Miss Global, I think yun yung ginawa ko. In-embrace ko lang kung ano yung story na pwede kong i-share. And I'm just so happy that the organization appreciated it. And the board of judges appreciate the same thing. So, para sa lahat po ng mga pageant girls, enjoy whatever it is you are experiencing in your pageant career. And don't ever forget to embrace who you are. Because that will make you stand out among the rest. Um, okay. Revise ko lang yung question ko ulit. Because after um, after a time, hopefully after a year, hindi yung sobrang extended naman. You will end your reign. Diba? So, after pageantry, what's next? Entertainment industry. Yes. <laughs> I think it's about time na parang um, when I went there, everyone was really pushing me with the singing career. But I'd be very honest, napaka-ironic ito kasi pag rampaan, pasarela, excited ako. Pero pag kantahan, may stage fright po ako. Nag-live po ako sa Bali. I performed Proud Mary live dun sa stage na yun. Grabe yung nervous ko nung time na yun. Feeling ko pipiyok ako in, between the, in the middle of my performance. Pero I think I'm still in the process of embracing that. I know it's very easy to say, oh, you just gotta be enjoying it, enjoy mo lang yan, i-showcase mo lang yung talo. Pero it will take time because I've experienced 
a very not sad um, moment before ako nung childhood ko. Kaya siguro, nandun pa rin po ako sa healing and recovery para ibalik yung confidence na yun na maniwala na kaya ko pa rin kumanta. So, tignan po natin yung part na yan. Baka mo malaman nyo na lang kung makanta na ako sa abroad. Sana! Pero yun po, sa entertainment industry po. Thank you so much, Tita J. Pada. This time, let's hear a question from... Another J. Another J. Another J. Hi, Shane. Hi, Sir J. Congratulations. So, on behalf of Pageant Trend, we would like to congratulate you for bringing the Miss Global Crown Thank to the you, Philippines. Well, and my question is, can you share with us your winning mindset towards clinching the Golden Crown? It's enjoying every inch of the moment I have there. Because I know na kung hindi ko enjoy yun, there's no other time for me to go and reminisce what I've experienced. I think that's what is the missing ingredient bakit nag-fail ako from past. Na narealize ko lang nun ang doon na ako. Kasi po, I'm really a competitive girl. When I... When I entered that stage, A game na yan. Wala nang, parang, ang narealize ko lang, sa so sobrang pagiging competitive ko, I think yung energy na nare-radiate ko is not natural anymore. And I felt like, siguro yun yung naramdaman ng judges na, ah, she's faking it, or maybe she's not that natural. She is good, but she's not natural. So, nung nandun ako sa Bali, I've always had this mindset na, ha, gusto ko na mag-enjoy. And I surrendered everything to God. I said na, what is meant for me will always be mine. And I've said there na, Ayo, I don't have to I don't want to worry anymore whatever the results is. Ang gagawin ko lang, lagi na ako mag-perform. And I guess that helped me clinch the crowd because yung energy siguro na na-radiate ko that night is the truest self, the authentic side of myself. I was just enjoying the production number. Kinakabahan, pero natural lang din po yan sa nerves talaga bilang tao, nakabahan ka. But I'm just really enjoying it. And yun din siya-share ko talaga sa mga girls. Totoo yun, you really have to enjoy it. Kasi, gift mo na yun sa sarili mo eh. You were already performed prior the activity, prior the coronation. So I think it's about time that you just enjoy whatever you need to harvest. You, all the efforts you've given from day one until the end. So that is your gift to yourself, to be able to perform well on that night with a happy heart. Alright, thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. So I guess let's have Tito Mario Dumawal of ABS-CBN. Tito Mario. Hi, Shane. Hi, Tito Mario. <laughs> I enjoyed your uh, performance mo tonight. Ah, thank you. Tatagan, hindi mo binibitawa ng uh, mic. Baka nga po eh. Like just, just an observation. You really remind me so much of uh, of Sam, no? Sam Bernardo. Parang, okay, I'm sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Parang namabalik mo tayo. Parang yung kambal kayo. Thank you, Ron. So, my question is, uh, medyo nasundan ko yung, uh, yung journey mo, no? From uh, way back, I think, Miss Rizal or Camarines and uh, Binibini and then onwards, Miss Earth. Ano yung naging mantra mo each time? And, uh, how did you evolve? That everything happens for a reason. I always believe that everything that nangyari sa akin is just a preparation for something big about to happen. Na para po ako nagtatanim, nagdidilig. In every experiences I'm having sa lahat ng competition ko, it's, a, it's, it's like I planted a tree and it's just growing every time na dinidilig ako. Napakiramdam ko, lahat ng mga failures ko, lahat ng mga setbacks ko, fertilizer yun para mabunga na maganda yung halaban na tinalik ko. And I've said this also dun sa Bali. Whatever you set through, pray through, cry through, rose through, is a setup for your next best season. And I guess I've just waited for this perfect timing. This, I believe, is the best season for me, not just to be a queen, but to continuously growing to be the best best version of myself. This is not just being complacent, no, okay, name is global, ka na, you're good enough. But I would always say to everyone that this is another set of parang level 3, level 4 of that another adversities para mas maging mabuting tao, mas magaling ka sa, sa kung anumang skills meron ka, and to reach that your full potentiality. So, my mother is always everything happens for a reason. Kasi kung iisipin ko lagi na everything is just a failure, baka po wala po ako sa harapan nyo ngayon. Baka po tumigil na din ako. 
So, lagi ko na lang inisip, hindi, hindi, hindi. Mayroong reason to. There's always a reward. And I would want to share to you what Miss Nigeria said when I was in uh, Bali. She said that whenever you are being challenged in life, it means there is a big thing that will happen to you. That is, that God is testing your character. If you're already prepared for that blessing. So, naisip ko lang, Ah, Lord, ikaw ha? Tinest mo ako ng mga anim na buwan. Mahirap-hirap yun. Bako naman this time, medyo maganda yung gift. So I think it's a good mantra also because you're looking life in a very optimistic way. So, yun, tito mo. Ito ako pag sinasabi, pero yun talaga yung mantra ko sa life. Hindi, salamat for I always, I've said to myself that in whatever means that I can, I wanted to bring my mom in Bali. So, nag-iisip ako, paano kaya na din si mama ng hindi lang memory? So, yung picture frame niya, I brought that in Bali. Just to always remind me, kasi I don't have my family there physically with me. So, it's always gonna be remind me that meron ako kasama sa journey. And you know what, Tito Norman? Angels are real. Kasi, whenever na, ang hirap po ng competition namin, we are 62 girls with different characters, different cultures. So, alam nyo na po yung nangyayari whenever there are misunderstanding or miscommunication na nangyayari every day. Kasama, kikisama ka. And I guess, Pilipino naman talaga magaling sila makisama. Plus, the call, I already call time. I'm not a morning person. So, nilabanan ko lahat yun. 4 a.m. pa lang gising na kami ni Miss Indonesia. Nag-makeup na kami. Every time na mapapagod ako, I would just always look at my mom. And, dun pa lang, solid reason na yun para magpatuloy ako. And every day, she's like sending me good omens na nire-remind ako na always be at your best. Because you're not just Shane Tormis here. You're already Miss Philippines. And it feels so much happy talaga. Whenever na nandun ako, ang tawag nila sa akin, Philippines. So I think yun yung solid na reason para mag-perform ako ng mahusay kasi hindi na ako nag hindi ako si Shane. Dala-dala ko yung mga kapabayan ko na naniniwalang kaya kong iwi yung unang corona para sa bansa natin. Grabe din yung pressure dito, Norman. <laughs> kasi never did the Philippines won. And I I believe I was able to introduce Philippines to Mr. Van, the owner, to always let him know that Filipinos are really resilient. He always praised me for that. He said, you're a tough woman. And I said, that's what Filipinos are. Yeah, you are really, you really are a tough woman, yeah. Waking up that early. I know that you, you always up. wake up late, no? Yes. Now, I don't know, follow-up question then to Shane. Um, let's talk about the branding of Miss Global. Because we, we all know that Miss Global is, I think, the only pageant with the widest age range, no? I'm not 35 years old yet, no? but the single moms went in. No? Now, since you are Miss Global 2022 and you are representing the brand, what uh, message do you want to show, not only to the organizers, not only to the owners, but also to future ladies who want to aspire to become Miss Global? Beyond the you know, beyond yung, 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 yung parang hirap mo in, in achieving that crown, but the brand of Miss Global, paano siya magiging unique compared to the other pageants? I've always said this, most especially when I have a small talk with Mr. Van, the owner, that I admire him for allowing 18 to 35 years old women to join the pageant and even the single moms. There, you can, it actually speaks for itself that he continuously empowers women. And that's the main slogan of Miss Global, women empowering women. And I believe I will continue doing that, Tito Norman, because I've already started doing that ever since before. So it's like this journey prepared me for Miss Global, for me to really digest it and indulge into empowering women with embracing their story, with embracing who they are first. I've always said this a hundred times before, that the only thing that will make you stand out among the rest is you embracing every inch of yourself. If you are authentic, if you know your core, you know your wise in life, you will go a long, long way. And dun pa lang, I think yun na yung magiging foundation of my reign, of sharing my story first to every woman and listening to what story they have. 
Because it will take one woman to spark that change, and that change will be realized by the rest of the community. We've started in my home, actually, by my mom empowering me, and I gave it back during the time that my mom needed that most when we, she has that cancer journey. I realized that during the time that I was baking my mom, that this is women empowerment. That women empowerment does not just cover a big organization, a foundation, but it should start inside the home. Moms empowering their daughters, daughters to their sisters, sister to their friends, friends to their cousins. It starts within the family and will spark that change in the community. So I'm really excited that I am now part of an organization who first and foremost became true to their intentions of encouraging every woman to empower themselves through the sisterhood circle we're doing every night. They've encouraged us not just to focus on our story, but to listen to other story too. That your story, even though no matter how sad it is, no matter how challenging itself, it will never discount the story of other people too. That you, your presence, her presence matters. So I'm just really excited for that speaking engagements that I will have in the future and of course the projects that I will make. Hello, how to say Shane? Ibang iba ka no? Considering, I remember the very first time we joined this Philippines, correct? Nanalo kang Miss SM Supermarket ton. Kilig na kilig ka na na meron kang SM Advantage card na meron 50,000 points sa mga kapag-grocery ka. Nag-shopping ako ng washing machine. Oo, ngayon, iba na. Congratulations, my dear. You deserve everything. Kontuwa ako sa'yo. I love you. Thank, first and foremost, thank you. Kasi isa ka sa mga una pong, huwag po kayo magsiselos ha. Si Tito Norman po ang isa po sa mga pageant bloggers na nilagay ako sa topics niya. Kaya sabi ko na nakakakilig pa ng mga topics. <laughs> ang sarap sa pagkaramdam na ma-appreciate. Totoo yan. I-share ko lang po sa inyo ha, nung nanalo ako, naiyak po ako lang kasi dati pumapalakpak lang po ako para sa iba. Ang tagal ko pong inantay, lagi pag pumapalak pa ako kay Gansini, kay Roxy, kay Karen, sabi ko, Lord, sige ah, basta papalakpakan din nila ako soon. So, palakpak lang ako ng palakpak. So, nung time na dumating na yun, ang sarap sa pakiramdam para na na-appreciate ka. Nakakalo ako, nakakaiyak naman yung angulo niya. Totoo kasi yun! Kasi, sana magiging... Kasi, minsan po kasi, yung mga girls, nakakalimutan nila yung sense na... Pag sumasali ka ng pageant, you just prepare yourself to win. They're forgetting to prepare themselves. What if they will lose? How will you handle yourself during that situation? Kung mahandle mo siya na maayos, God will really give you a reward for doing so. To know to celebrate someone as success because time will come, you will have your own time as well. Kumalik na tayo sa Ate Mona at ano, mag-swimming tayo. Oo nga, mag-Ate Mona tayo. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Ito Norman. Thank so, you. we'll be entertaining three more questions. Um, Tito Lawrence and Chago from Chagong. So, we 